could you give me a um, heads up at three, please? Yes, thank you. Okay. Yeah. It's such a pleasure to meet you and talk about this film. When I hear Lisbeth Salander, I get, you know, overexcited because she's such an amazing character from the page. So what was your initial reaction? Um, I think my initial reaction was, uh, oh, uh, <laughs> dread, probably. Um, <laughs> but I mean, I, I'm the same as you. Like, I, I loved the character. And so, it's, it, you know, I've played a few characters where you have to separate what you think you know about them before you've mm. um, before, and then take them again, and and that's what is lovely about playing a role, really, especially one that's from a novel, um, that you have to kind of entirely get rid of your your own attachment to it and have to go back to the basics. And were you familiar with the other portrayals, and how much did you want to distance yourself a little bit so that you can embody her yourself? Uh, I mean, yeah, I'd watched I'd watched mm. all of all of the um, Swedish um, films, and I'd watched. Um, uh, the American version and I mean I just as an audience member just thought they were amazing as everybody does they're just brilliant um, uh, but you know uh, you know reincarnating characters is something that actors do an awful lot mm. and so you get used to having to not put that to the back of your mind but you have to approach it from your own heart and soul you can't you can't try and be like anybody else um and so you just have to accept that you're there playing it and just get on with it really yeah absolutely and then you know what's amazing about Lisbeth Salander is that she has so many facets and something comes out at, at any point and i think this is what this fourth installment shows us it's another aspect of her personality and life that we'd never seen or thought of correct yeah i think that's the thing about Lisbeth is she's constantly changing she's constantly evolving because she's mm. constantly coming to terms with certain aspects aspects of her life and her what her upbringing and 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 the world that she lives in and the world that she thinks she has inside herself and it, it, she's constantly trying to mm. um, assimilate those two things and equate them in a way that makes sense to her and the world never does I don't think to Elizabeth it just doesn't make any sense um, and so I think in this this story you are, it's you're not going over we're not going mm. over old ground we're not um, we sort of accept that that is what she's now moving on and that essentially she's moving on but she comes up against another block and that's another part of her past that she hasn't really faced really her, her body language is very important the way she dresses of course the way she wears her hair and mm. makeup so how much did that inform the role for you and how closely did you work with the production team on constructing her we all work really really closely mm. together um <clears throat> uh but i think for me the the character came first and the aesthetic came later um i don't think it would it wouldn't have served the film really t to to create the image of a person without understanding mm. what the reasoning behind it was. So Heike, who was the makeup designer, we went through everything and all the tattoos have a reason and a, yeah. a symbolism to her and why she got them. And, and the same with Carlos, the costume designer, we, everything had a purpose, you know, she, every part of her costume and her clothing that she wears is, in some way helping her life, you know. Mm. So it, it, I, I have to create the character like that as opposed to outside in. Yeah. How does it work with the tattoos? Do you have to draw them every day or, I mean. Yeah, they were yeah. applied every day. I mean, some of them weren't because some of them are pretty strong and they stayed mm. on for quite a long time. Um, but we had transfers essentially. That's the amazing thing now about doing things like that, that you can transfer them on and they're so beautifully done. And they were all designed by a tattoo artist. Um, um, but yeah, they were all put on every day. Well, we've seen that, that, that EPK version, I mean, that, that's all I've seen, this behind-the-scenes EPK, mm. and the producer was saying that this couldn't be more far removed from playing a queen with a bag. I don't know why she mm. formulated it that way, but it is a real stretch um, in acting to play characters that are so far removed and so detailed, um, mm -hmm. each one. Yeah, well, I think that, that the, you know, the crown was, you know, I don't think anybody who had seen my previous work would have mm. assumed that that's what I would do either. Um, I've had a really varied career and um, I think uh, these two are very, very extreme characters mm. in that sense, they, they, you know, and they require a, a transformation from me just being sat here. Um, but that's the challenge and that's the beauty of what I do for yeah, a living. No. Th th does it inform your choices that they have to be as far removed as possible from who you would be in real life? Uh, well, I mean, they're both in there as well, though. That's mm. the point. And, and, and essentially, um, they're, they're both aspects of my character, which is quite worrying. Uh, but, but no, they're de it's definitely all, also me as well. 
Um, let's talk about filming in, uh, in, in Berlin. Mm -hmm. How was that? And uh, were you in, in Sweden at all for the outside? Yeah, shots? yeah, we, we, were, we were in Sweden for a portion of it, which we had to be really. I don't think we could have made it and not mm. ha um, have been there. Um, and uh, yeah, Berlin was um, incredible. I think just the architecture and the landscape and the temperature. <laughs> all uh, kind of that, that informed to the, the, the all informed it, yeah, yeah all <laughs> added to it. Uh, and finally, because none of us have seen much, how much are you <laughs> looking forward to seeing, you know, the final product to be an audience member and, and sit down and watch this film in its entirety? I can't wait because I think that Fede is, a, you know, he really is genius, and I, I think he'll make a really amazing and beautiful film. Um, and you know, I can't wait to see it. <laughs> I don't, you know, I. That, that what the film is and, and uh, is still kind of a mystery to us all. Um, but I just know it's going to be amazing.